Practice makes perfect. But what if you don't know how to practice? Or what if you're practicing in a way that isn't very helpful to you? This video will help you optimize your mechanical practice in Overwatch 2, while helping you eliminate any bad practice habits you may have. There are several nuances in how people practice, the first of these being people's approach. Setting aside a certain amount of time for practicing every day is all well and good, but if you don't maintain that consistency, it will ultimately be less effective. Please, please. I have a family. I have a family. I have a fa <laughs> Some people practice by playing ranked and autopiloting. While you still may gain some essence of skill from this, there is no way that it will be as beneficial as if you are fully locked in. During whatever practice you deem appropriate, it is important to be aware of the mistakes you make. For instance, in the Apex Legends Global Series Split 1 playoffs, there was a player who brought a notepad with them that they had been writing their mistakes in and reviewing them right before they would play. He would write down things that he could approve on or the team could approve on on his phone, and he would reread it before he plays. Having your weaknesses displayed before you like that will not only let you be more aware of your own decisions, it will also help you be a better teammate to those around you. There are always certain tools you can use to work on these problems that you are aware of, whether it be movement, aim, or positioning. The approach to aim training is always a little more difficult than movement or positioning, because of how reliant it is on raw skill. Movement and positioning can be learned in a set amount of time, but consistent aiming is something that comes with hours upon hours of practice. When practicing aim training, it is important to fully focus on your target. This helps you to focus on reading the target's movements better. When you're able to read your opponent's movements, it is vital to pace your shots and not overreact to the movement. Spraying and praying is not always the answer, and at medium to long distance, will probably just get you killed. Keep your crosshair steady at all times, so that you can aim at head level and hit headshots to eliminate your opponent quickly. Make smooth, clean motions when approaching targets. Sharp movements are flashy, but unless you are extremely accurate with them, they actually slow down your time to kill. While you ideally want to land on the target directly, it is often preferable to underflick instead of overflick. This is because it takes longer to correct an overflick as you have to move your mouse more and change directions. When possible, you should try to take off angles so that you can approach your target and hit them from the side where they will not expect you. Hitting shots on targets that strafe incredibly fast, such as on Overwatch when AD strafing, requires an understanding of proper crosshair placement and timing. You often see Widowmakers having their target in their sights and not shooting until they know they have a guaranteed headshot. Because once you shoot, then your opponent knows you're there and you have lost your chance for a free kill. There are several types of training available to you both in Overwatch and in aim training software like Aim Labs. In Overwatch, there are workshop modes that can help you train your aim against fast, long, and short strafes, headshotting tracer, and tons of other helpful modes. In addition to the workshop modes, there are also free-for-all modes and 1v1 modes that can be beneficial when you fully focus on practicing within these modes. In Aim Labs, Voltaic has several training scenarios created specifically for Overwatch, with the core ones being the Overwatch Fundamentals and more specific Hero Fundamentals for those who want to focus on one hero at a time. The Voltaic Introduction to Aim Training is a great way to get started on your aim training journey. This video gets you accustomed to some aim terminology, introduces you to the Voltaic rank system, and gives you pointers as a beginner. With these different modes and ways to approach aim mechanics in mind, the last thing we will focus on is the way to structure your daily practice. The most important thing is finding something that works for you. However, the most common way that our community members structure their practice is aim training work for about 30 minutes to an hour, or just using it to warm up for about 10 to 15 minutes. Many people will substitute aim training work for different workshop modes as well. Our official recommendation is 30 minutes of aim training, 20 minutes of try-hard free-for-all, and 10 minutes of workshop practice mode. However, feel free to adjust the training to your needs and personal preference. For the 30 minutes of aim training, use either your Overwatch fundamental routine or the hero-specific one if you want to focus on only one hero. For try-hard free-for-all, 
practice or warm up on the heroes that you will be playing in Ranked. For the workshop mode, try playing these three scenarios. VAXTA, BWGAP, 1W5D2. While queuing, you can always play VAXTA or Widow HS just to improve your mouse feel. By using this structure, these methods, and approach to mechanical training, we believe you will inevitably become better and hopefully advance ranks in no time. By adopting a proper training method and structure, you are not only getting better practice, but also increasing confidence in your own ability to perform. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe for more content like this. If you are interested in some other games or the introduction to aim training we mentioned earlier, the link for that will be in the description. From all of us here at Voltaic, have a good one!